<laughs> Welcome, sinners, to this edition of Scare Danger Dan. Ooh! All right, so in this episode of Dare Danger Dan, we're gonna scare Danger Dan, okay? And we got a really super spooky dare from one of my favorite Instagram accounts. Check them out, they're called Garfield from Memory, and they have several paintings of Garfield doing all sorts of weird stuff every day and every one of them is a treasure and a treat. Uh, huge fan. Garfield from memory wanted to see Gar Frazier, which actually I, I believe stemmed from the fact that they were trying to do a, um, a painting of Garfield Hellraiser crossover, but because of the Gar Frazier thing, people kept thinking that it was the Kelsey Grammer show from the 90s, you know, the one that takes place uh, in, um, in Seattle, yeah, it's like a Seattle socialite show. I don't know, they're like, they all have their, their fancy accents, pinkies up, kind of ordeal. Kelsey Grammer plays uh, Frasier, who is a radio host, um, and actually it was a spin-off from the show Cheers. That same character, Frasier, was a character on Cheers, so he frequented, frequented the bar in Boston called Cheers. So. I don't know how he like went, went from Boston all the way over to Seattle, but hey, you know what? I love Boston and I love Seattle, so whatever. But what could be spookier than a Hellraiser, Frasier, Garfield crossover? Uh, the only way we could make that spookier was my pal Chris Dieter dared me to draw Heathcliff, another famous orange cat that's up to no good. Uh, he wanted to see Heathcliff as Pinhead. So naturally, these two dares marry well together uh, and they've been marinating in my basement. Oh, getting spookier. So uh, get ready for this episode of Dare Danger Dan. Buckle up my uh, spooky pals, all right? The ghosts and the goblins coming out tonight. I'm gonna start drawing, so you just sit right down and take a peek. So I find that uh, Kelsey Grammer doesn't exactly lend himself well to uh, the Garfield uh, shape, but that's the whole fun of it, is we gotta bend our will over here. So Kelsey Grammer is one of those actors that like, he does have a recognizable face, definitely, but I feel like his voice is even more recognizable. Well, I think to a degree they weren't really even considered mullets back then. Like a mullet had to be like full on, like really short on top in front and then fully long in back. Back then the mullet concept was just, you know, woven into the fabric of haircuts so much that any haircut that was a little bit longer in the back was not a mullet, it just was a haircut. Like look at Jerry Seinfeld in his show Seinfeld. He, he had what? The show Seinfeld? Starring Jerry Seinfeld as Jerry Seinfeld. So he had what we, we, he had what we would nowadays call a mullet, but back then it wasn't really a mullet, it just was a hairdo. So anytime I think about Kelsey Grammer, I can, I, all I can think about is the X-Men cartoon, the voice actor who played the Beast, who was not Kelsey Grammer, but sounded just like him, how iconic that role was, and how that landed Kelsey Grammer the role of Beast in the, um, in the original X-Men movies. Uh, I was like, thought that was like such a great Hollywood moment where, you know, like they're like, oh, the cartoon influenced the movie and what actor they chose. Honestly, a lot like Garfield. <laughs> Uh, if you don't know the, the story yet, I guess I'll tell you, but I mean, a lot of people do know about this already, but so you got, you got Bill Murray, who played Peter Venkman in the Ghostbusters cartoon, the real Ghostbusters, uh, played by the voice actor in the cartoon, Orlando Music, I believe his name was, and um, he was a pretty iconic, like, uh, 80s, like, voice actor, um, did a lot of roles, but he was definitely most famous for Peter Venkman in The Real Ghostbusters, and then he was really famous for doing the voice of Garfield in the Garfield and Friends cartoon. And I was a huge fan of both cartoons, and I knew full well that it was the same voice actor, and I always enjoyed that. And then when, fast forward to the future, they made the Garfield, the movie, the with the CGI Garfield, uh, Orlando Music was supposed to get that role. Like he was all lined up to get it because he had been voicing Garfield for so long. But because he also voiced Peter Venkman in the Ghostbusters cartoon, for some reason somebody thought to ask Bill Murray instead because he was like a higher end celebrity. So right before Orlando Music died, 
Bill Murray stole his like last, probably highest paying role that he could have ever had. And uh, I, it, last I read, Bill Murray to this day regrets it. He feels bad about it. So uh, this is Gar Frazier, and he's actually holding the puzzle box from Hellraiser, which is really how this whole dare began. Garfield from memory wanted to see Gar Frazier because every time uh, Garfield from memory tried to do a Hellraiser Garfield crossover, the spelling itself lent itself to looking like it was from the show Frasier. So here we go, we're gonna go ahead and give this is the puzzle box from Hellraiser, which actually summons Pinhead, which today is gonna to be played by Heathcliff. All right, so uh, now I'm gonna move on to the Chris Dieter part of the dare, which really ties in well. Um, I'm always happy when this happens, which is why I'm always asking you guys to dare me to draw stuff. I'm over there working it all together, doing the, doing the drawing math. Not that there's a whole lot of math going on in my drawings, but uh, anyhow, so now we're gonna do uh, Pinhead, from Hellraiser, as played by Heathcliff, the other orange cat. Now, if you're not familiar with Heathcliff, uh, Heathcliff, Heathcliff, no one should terrorize a neighborhood is the first line in his theme song. So basically he's just a, a round orange cat, not too different than Garfield, with one major difference, is that Heathcliff is an unstoppable force of aggression in violence and mischief, whereas Garfield is kind of lazy and would rather eat lasagna and take a nap. So here we go. We got our very intellectual Garfield Frazier, Gar Frazier, if you will, and he's about to be confronted by uh, the demon he summoned from the puzzle box, which I'm still trying to think of a witty way to go about that, but either way. Um, and he's summoned Gar Heathcliff Pinhead. Is there like a fun way to combine those two names? I was honestly, I was a huge fan of both cartoon cats. Uh, I always thought it was funny that they, both the cartoons had, um, they had two sections per episode. So uh, in the Garfield and Friends cartoon, they had like, you know, just like the classic Garfield comic strip setup where he's just there with uh, John and Odie, occasionally normal. Sometimes there was a mouse or a spider. Um, you know, lasagna, naps the usual uh, Garfield fare. And then the, second half, uh, so, then the second half of every episode, they would have the and friends part, which was like the barnyard pals or something like that, where it was like a, like a pig and a rooster and like a duck that wore a floaty, a flotation device that had a, a miniature duck growing out of it. I always thought that was really weird. <laughs> But like, they never crossed over. I always was like, well, when's Garfield gonna visit the and friends part? Like, you know, so that they're friends, but that never happened. I'm loving the energy in the chat room today. Everyone's like down to do the dares. So this isn't so much sins of the flesh. This is more like sins of the fur. Oh, talk cat chat. I like it. All right, so we're gonna take uh, DJ Catwoman's dare, live dare. And uh, oh. we're gonna take top cat. I just gotta look up the picture of Top Cat. I do, I can kind of remember, but. So Top Cat is the appropriate choice for this because he does a lot of talking. Basically, Top Cat's MO is to talk his way out of any problem with the, some sort of police dog or something. The Siamese twin centibites. That was a great idea, Zuzu, by the way. That's like the worst centibite. I feel like he's better than the CD one. CD head. That's the one. Yeah, camera head's better. At least it's like, I don't know. The CD drive for a mouth is Like, the camera head's like creepy, like people with cameras can be creepy, or are they secretly filming you, or I don't know. Like I could see an element of being recorded as being like a level of fear, maybe a level of hell. But what's CD head? Like, that should be the worst one, because like, what are you afraid of that this guy's gonna make you a mixtape? Like. Is that your worst fear? <laughs> the first one's great. The first Hellraiser is great. There's no movie like it. Um, yeah. Very, very uh, fascinating, nightmarish. The second one makes no, no damn sense, but I love it. It's just a lot of fun. Like, just again, just a nightmarish movie. Makes a little bit less sense the first one than the first one, but it, it has a, a lot of cool elements to it. The third one's mostly just like goofy, R-rated fun. And then after that, it just gets worse and worse, and it just gets murkier, and I don't know. But 
not to say that I don't, I didn't watch every single one of them and drink up every last drop. Cause man, I love that horror. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, this is, I'm, I'm like, I think I'm gonna like almost done with this baby. Just wanna close up some gaps in the lines. And I'm looking forward to uh, coloring this in on the computer, actually. All right. I'm feeling pretty good about this, so. As much as I want to go down to the nitty gritty and draw every detail of this whole drawing, I'm going to save it because I'm going to be coloring this in for your enjoyment later on. But, uh, so thank you for this episode of Scared Danger Dan, brought to you by Garfield from Memory. Super cool Insta Instagram account. Garfield from Memory gave us the dare. Uh, Car Frazier, okay, which led its way into Hellraiser Heathcliff. We got Pinhead Heathcliff here, and then we got a bunch of live dares. We can thank Zuzu, we can thank DJ Catwoman, and a few others. We got, um, we got Top Cat Chatterer, Chatterbox Top Cat here. We got uh, Cleo from the Heathcliff cartoon as um, the female Cenobite. Um, we got the, from Zuzu, we got uh, the twin Cenobite as the Siamese cats from Lady and the Tramp. And then we got, uh, was this also a Zuzu? I think so. We got another Zuzu, which was Tom from Tom and Jerry as the video Cenobite, I guess. Um, and uh, so we got the puzzle box, Gar Frazier. I am so spooked out, I cannot sleep tonight. I'm gonna be hiding under my blankets. How scared I am of all these cartoon cats. So stick around, we have many more episodes of Scare Danger Dan coming your way all through October. So stay spooky, my friends. Oh! <laughs>